Hey there, sheepdoggers, and welcome to Sheepdog's unfair review of Elder Scrolls Online. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is going to be different from the rest of my uh, unfair reviews, um, <clears throat> just purely because I have cancelled my Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, it is not a bad game. Uh, it is not a bad MMO as MMOs go. With that being said, it's not enough for me. It just, it really isn't. Um, if you're if you're one of those people who is here because, you know, they're looking for reviews to a game they've already played, you know, they've already bought, they've already played, and you're just kind of going around looking for confirmation, you know, um, it's probably best to leave right about now. So, bye-bye. See you later. Um, yeah, no, it's, um... The thing is, is a lot of people go and look at reviews, either to, 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 to like, find things to complain about, about the reviewer, you know, like, if you like the game, then you say it's, then you say, and they say it's bad, then you can go, oh, no, it's really good, and then, like, have a go at them. Uh, it's, it's this really weird thing that goes on, and happens quite a lot in my unfair reviews. Um, a lot of the comments and emails I get are from people who have already played the game. And they're coming to a coming to my video, coming to the review, and going, no, it's a good game. And the thing is, is it doesn't make any sense because you're just like, well, if you've already played the game, why are you looking at a review? If you like the game, why are you looking at a review? Why do you need to to start an argument? You know, to kind of to to uh, try and pick holes in my argument. If you've already played the game, if you already like it, there's no need to look at a review for us for the first start. Um, and yeah, okay, so basically, I don't really like The Elder Scrolls Online, personally. I can see that it's a decent MMO, you know, there's a few little gimmicky things that make it interesting for a bit, um, but for the most part, like, I don't, you know, it, it was, it was alright for a bit, leveling up, but the problem is, is like, for myself, when I was playing World of Warcraft, I didn't really pay that much attention to the storyline. Um, but, you know, it was fairly easy to get to grips with. Uh, you know, like, you could you could get a basic idea of what was going on and and kind of have a quick read of the text and everything. And the problem I found with more recent MMOs is the whole uh, cinematic talking thing that goes on it, it, it's 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 just it it encourages you if you're not interested in the storyline or you know you just you just end up skipping through all of it because there's so much unnecessary shit there um whereas you know when it's when it's uh when it's kind of a bit more of a, a chat thing for some reason it's you know you can you can read it or you can not read it and for myself i just go okay scroll 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 fair enough i get the gist the problem with uh, <clears throat> the problem with the Elder Scrolls for me is I was never that interested in the Elder Scrolls storylines. Uh, you know, I got into Morrowind. I got a bit into uh, the 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 one after Morrowind. What the bloody hell is it called? Oblivion. And for the most part, I found Skyrim was kind of. Yeah, I've I've found it. You know. And the problem with the Elder Scrolls Online is that there's so many throwaway characters who I don't give a shit about. You know, I wa I, I, I'll watch the cutscenes and I'll try and understand exactly what's going on. But for the most part, it was just noise, you know, it was just filler in between doing quests. And, I mean, to give, to give some fair dues to the Elder Scrolls game, you know, the Elder Scrolls Online... Um, there weren't too many fetch quests, there wasn't too much running back and forward. But at the end of the day, you know, it just it it was it was what so many MMOs are. Uh just pure grind, you know? Um the only thing I was vaguely looking forward to was PvP. And I engaged in a little bit of that and there was nothing special about it. Um <clears throat> the whole uh uh, the whole quick bar thing was utterly confusing. I mean, you had you had uh, abilities from number like 
I think it was like one to six or, you know, there are about six ability uh, slots on the quick bar. But, I mean, why? There's space enough for the same as usual, you know, kind of. And it, it's one of these really random things, as far as I can tell. They're just really arbitrary. This is as many uh, slots as you can have. And I'd filled them by, like, eight, by like level 15 or something. So it seems like, you know, there's this whole kind of idea of, yeah, you, uh, you do some kind of... Play, playing around and you know you cost you can customize and stuff but at the end of the day there's not that much I actually I think I think there's a quick slot uh there's a quick slot item uh one to five and then a special ability and you can choose one special ability kind of like your ultimate ability and then five other abilities and that that's what you kind of that's what you run with and I just think you you know why why can't you have more? And, you know, there are so many, there's so many different abilities that you've got and so many, you know, I mean, it, 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 seem, it seems ridiculously arbitrary. Um, and let me, the, the, the moment when I first thought to myself, holy shit, this is, you know, this is, the, the, there are so many little things that piss me off that kind of ruin the experience of the game for me. And the first one, of course, the most obvious one, is the fact that I can't get into the storyline. Like, the entire storyline, I never knew who anyone was, I never knew why they were doing what. You know, even, like, one of the biggest, kind of biggest, in inverted commas, characters, the Queen, you know, I was on uh, the Dominion, Aldermary Dominion or something, one of the sides. And, you know, th there's the Queen of the thing, she didn't feel important, you know? She didn't. She didn't feel like she was. Uh, I I barely paid any attention to her either, and she was, you know, supposed to be the most important person. Uh, the only guy I did like was one of my fellow eyes or shadows or whatever. There's like kind of secret service, and he was a. Uh, he was a fellow cat guy. What the hell are they called? Furries. I don't know what they're called. Um, and yeah, you know, he was he was actually quite an interesting character. But for the most part, you know, every now and then there'd be like a little joke or something. Quite often it would fly over my head because it was a you know Skyrim joke. Well, I um, well, quite often it would be Skyrim joke, I think. But yeah, just an Elder Scrolls joke in general. And um, yeah, he was he was quite cool, and he said some some quite funny things, and you know, it it wasn't too bad. But at the end of the day, it suffers from the same thing that the Old Republic suffers from, in that, you know, it is a multiplayer game, and you shouldn't be kind of treated as the all-seeing, all-powerful, you know, as the chosen one, because you're not, because there's loads of other people with you there in the world, all running through the exact same storylines as you. I mean, I can't wait for an MMO that does it properly, where they go, you're not important. You know, you're helping, you're helping the the faction or whatever you're with, but you're not important. You go off and you do this. You know, we're giving this, this uh, these uh, tasks to everyone. You know, and and they don't claim that you're like some important person in this big world. That's what single player games are for, because and th this is this is one of the things that really wound me up about the game, is that. When you when you go and do a quest, it's slightly instanced um, depending on where you on what quest you're doing. So, uh, for you, when you go to a certain area and you've got a quest, uh, NPCs will be in certain places. You know there might be fighting going on and so forth. And you know that that's that's great. You know that's almost a good way to do it. The problem becomes when you're meeting with the queen, you know, the most important person, and, you know, you're not allowed that close to her because she's important and, you, and you're not trusted, and, you know, there's guards all around her, and someone's betrayed her, and etc, etc, etc. And then you have, like, 15 people running through the queen on horseback and on foot, and people fighting imaginary things that aren't really there, you know, because you're not on the same part. It, it's it breaks whatever immersion I could possibly have, you know, in the storyline, you know, trying to get used to the, 
to the game. And that's one of the problems of MMOs that try to make things fe make you feel important. You know, you in an MMO, you should never be important by the game, by the gameplay, by the game, by the storyline making you important. This is why games like EVE Online are so amazing, because they stick you in there, and they go off you go, and you rise to power, if you rise to power at all, on your own merit, on your own effort. And in these games they go, you're important because it's part of the storyline, off you trot, pay attention to the storyline if you don't, uh, if, if you want to, don't pay attention to the storyline if you don't want to, regardless, you're important. And it's absolutely you know, it, it completely breaks you out. I mean, at least in, again, at least in World of Warcraft, it never really, for the most part, claimed you're important. You know, everyone had the same quests, it gave you the same, and it was never like only you can save orc kind or whatever. Um, whereas in this, you know, there's a certain amount of, you know, you're breaking out of prison to rescue the prophet, but everyone's doing that. It's not as bad as it was in the Knights of the Old Republic, where you would literally be running past people who look exactly like you um, and who are on the exact same quest as you and they're like, you are the, you know, you are the, the this new council member and you're really important and you're amazing, you just killed this guy and there's like, you know, 50 million other people doing the exact same thing as you and you're like, well that's kind of shit. Um, so yeah, that's one of the, pro that that's another problem I have with the Elder Scrolls is it tries to make you feel important and that's incredible you know there's so many ways that that's broken down and it doesn't help you try and get along with the storyline uh, and another example of this i'm going to give you is the fucking template they have for quests um i mean literally i got to about level 14 15 i think uh, before I before I gave up, so I went through quite a lot of quests, and this is a very standard quest template that I encountered many a time, at least five times. Which is, you turn up to an area, there's something wrong with the area, and you get told to go and see someone. The person you go and see is conducting experiments or trying to make things better, or and give and give you instructions to help them. You go off do the thing, you come back, you give them the thing, and they're like, ah, oh, thank you, this will help cure everyone, or this will help save everyone, you know, I'm doing good things, basically. And then you'll speak to someone else who says, who, who reveals to you that they're actually doing bad things, shock, horror, gasp, and then you have to, you know, go and defeat them, go and defeat someone to do with them, you know, sometimes they're doing it for the right reasons, sometimes they're doing it for the wrong reasons. So it's it's very slight adjustments, but they're all exactly the same. And it was just so demoralizing to go to a quest, uh, you know, have them say, oh, go and help this guy, he's trying to fix everything, and you go, yeah, but he's not. You know, like, after, after I do this quest for him, um... I'm going to have to come back and defeat him and then decide whether he lives or dies or, or whatever. So at the end of the day, if I can figure this out, why the fuck can't my character and let's have a different, let's have a different kind of way it goes. Um, so yeah, you know, all of these things, like, I, I had a little dabble in, in the PvP. It wasn't too bad. It felt very unimportant how you went. You know, it was very much a case of everyone just piling, fl flinging spells and arrows and weapons and swords. And it, it, it had that feeling that if you're melee, you know, you're going to be very, very useless at, at certain times. Um, and very underpowered at certain times. Like when you're sieging, you just stand there waiting for it to fall so you can rush in and get killed. Um, I I was a I was an archer. I did all right. I mean nothing nothing special. I got kills. I got killed. Um, the sieging seemed fairly standard. Nothing amazing. The PvP area looked kind of interesting. But at the end of the day, uh, the PvP is something at the end, you know. And I'm not the type of person who likes to go through the first time 
ignoring the storyline, ignoring the quests, you know, not really giving a shit about any of it, just to get to the end level so I can start PvPing. So at the end of the day, I decided, you know, there's no point in in doing a subscription, you know, because, I mean, when I first started streaming Elder Scrolls Online on, on Twitch, I, I enjoyed it a little bit, you know, I, it wasn't amazing, it didn't capture my imagination, but I was getting through it, and, and you know, we had a lot of people in the in the chat watching and uh, and chatting with me at the same time, and it was all right, you know, it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't bad. It wasn't kind of you know putting me off, but at the end of the day, there's not enough there to keep me until later levels until 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 the end. You know, I couldn't think thinking about it, thinking about starting streaming again and you know leveling, and it's it's a you know I've been looking for an MMO to play, you know, to level up. Um, while uh, for 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 streaming because it's it's a great one to stream you know is is an MMO. Uh, unfortunately for me, the Elder Scrolls Online is not that you know I can't I can't see myself being putting up with the leveling, you know putting up with not knowing the storyline and not caring about the storyline. You know you need especially with MMOs but with single players as well. You need to be gripped. You need you need to feel a part of the world. You need to feel immersed um, to carry on. You know to keep going and to not feel like you're grinding. And after after like ten levels, I definitely felt like I was grinding. I felt like I was just you know kind of. I mean, if you've if you've already been through it once or twice and you know the storyline too well and everything. Then yeah, sure. You know that's when it starts to feel like grinding. A couple of after you've leveled a couple of characters, maybe. But if you feel like this on your first playthrough, there really is a problem. Um, uh, I'm not saying again. I'm not saying that this is going to be like this for everyone. What I'm saying is there are two. You know, for people who aren't uh, Elder Scrolls fans. For people who don't already know the storyline and backstory, and you know, I uh, all of these things that people are talking about, all of these factions and all of these, all of these people registered nothing for me. You know, I mean, all the all the areas, you know, they're they're like the other Elder Scrolls games. You know, they're varied, and but at the end of the day, they were they weren't really open world you know they didn't feel open world sandbox they felt very linear you know level level to level from naught to five in this area then move on to the next area then level five to six in the end and go and on and on and on and on and you know it's just you're not going to be coming back to the areas to search for things it's going to be just like um other level based mmos you know and you're just going to be leveling in in different areas, different areas, to the last area, and then some people hang around in certain places. You know, other places will get really, really empty, and they, you know, there you go. I mean, and and the thing I always admired about the Elder Scrolls games as single player games was that you could wander around and explore, but I never felt any interest really aside from the fact that you know you get you get sometimes you get like uh other quests helps you keep the level on par with you know your kind of main quests you're doing um also you know sometimes you find special areas sometimes and like this is the other thing is you get like limited amount of inventory space um, and you can have as much as you like of a stack of something, but then you can only have a certain number of things. So, you know, if you have one of everything, you know, big, little, small, it all takes up the same. Um, you can have like 500 million of one thing and that only takes up one space. But at the end of the day, you know, you're going to be faced with situations where you have things like, uh, for example, you have a whole load of ingredients for stuff you don't need. But also, there are, you know, if if you're kind of going through a room and you're just kind of wanting to get on with it, you know, you go through all of all of the 
bits and pieces and you'll take them you'll take all you'll take them all just kind of auto loot R for me it was R. Um, so I ended up with a whole load of cooking ingredients. Didn't particularly care about cooking. Didn't particularly, you know, want those ingredients. But every now and then, you get you'll get in the uh, you'll you'll get in the containers, you know, something actually useful like a, a recipe book or, or whatever. So you feel like if you don't search everything, then you're missing out. You know, same same with the books. You know, you could get a skill up from from reading books but a whole load of them were just you know law kind of stuff you can read if you're wanting to take your time but i never was because you know the books are long i'm 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 wanting to you know press on and yet all of this kind of centers around putting me off the game you know i mean i'm sure there are people out there to whom it doesn't matter and to whom, you know, they enjoy the Elder Scrolls, they, en they enjoy the storylines and everything. But I'm speaking as kind of, uh, I'm speaking as someone who've, who's played quite a lot of MMOs, as someone who has enjoyed quite a lot of MMOs, and as someone who has found themselves grinding and wasting their time on MMOs. You know, like, putting too much time in and getting no reward out. So I've started to realise now, you know, since I've stopped playing MMOs as much, you know, I barely play any at all uh, for the last kind of year, two years. Uh, you really do start to realise the difference between grinding and not getting anything out and playing a game that is enjoyable and, you know, and rewarding. And that's the thing, is some is it's different for every every person. You have to kind of... You have to look at it yourself and say, okay, you know what? I'm putting in five hours a day to this game and I'm not getting much enjoyment out because I have to, you know, I have to grind reputation with factions. I have to grind levels. I have to, you know, and I'm not enjoying it. I'm just trying to grind something out to get somewhere. You know, and if you if you're if you're grinding for five hours to get, you know, one hour of satisfaction, it, you know, that's just like, well, Fuck that. You know? Gr grinding five hours for some money so you can get slightly better gear so you can go in PvP. You know, if if it takes you five hours to get that and then you have to go and get the gear and you have to spend all your money and then you need more money, go grind more, etc, etc, etc. So, yeah, basically, um, I don't want to go on too long because I've, I've probably lost every, you know, probably by this point, anyone who has actually stuck around and likes the game has probably, uh, you know, jumped off, put a comment and left. Maybe just like the video, you see. You, you never know um, with people. Sometimes they just want to put in their, their opinion, sometimes whatever. But at the end of the day... I, again, I, I don't like saying, you know, this game is good, this game is bad. You know, I, I can see the appeal in this game, especially for people who like the Older Scrolls games, you know? And especially if you're playing with your friends, you know, it always makes it last longer. If you're leveling with your friends, if you're taking it easy, great. For me, I don't like taking it easy in MMOs. I like playing them, I like leveling, and uh, especially in ones where they don't grip me with the storyline or with the leveling system or whatever i just like to get through it and get on and go and you know pvp or go and dungeon crawl or whatever and the the amount of time i was going to be putting into the elder scrolls was not worth the time you know was was not worth it it wasn't worth spending all that time leveling up just to pvp so there you go basically um it it didn't impress me. It didn't it didn't grip me. There, there at the end of the day, there was nothing about it that made me want to carry on. So that is my unfair review. If you like it, if you enjoy it, fair play. You know, it, it, we all have different tastes, don't we? So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you a little bit of opinion of you know. A, a little bit of an idea of how I feel about the game. You know, if you're interested in it and I haven't put you off, you know, um, this is different, of course, to usual because 
I don't usually do unfair reviews of MMOs. I don't usually play MMOs on my Twitch or on my YouTube. So you guys who have, you know, you who have subscribed to me, who have followed me, who watch my unfair reviews for my opinions, you know, you should take this even less seriously than my other unfair reviews. Because at the end of the day, you know, your feeling on MMOs might be very, very different to mine. And, you know, so yeah, there you go. I mean, don't... Uh, for, for the most part, I'm doing this to get my opinion out there of this game in case there are people out there who feel about MMOs the same way I do. Um, and, you know, maybe feel about The Elder Scrolls the same way I do. And if you've been considering getting it, but you're not into MMOs that much, you're not into uh, into The Elder Scrolls that much, maybe I can save you from, uh, from getting a game that's just not going to grip you, not going to appeal to you and save you a bit of money. So, there we go. That's my unfair review. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.